Hey guys, have you ever asked yourself this question? Does God really love me for who I am? If you ask this question, it's a very, very, very important question and you need to know the answer. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So let's get to it. Just very quick, if it's your first time here on my channel, I'm Daniel Meritz and welcome to DLM Christian Lifestyle. Subscribe and also click that notification bell so you won't miss any of the next videos. Now, if you ask this question of, does God really love me for who I am? It's either because you're going through a lot of pain and suffering, or number two is because you feel like you have to earn your love from your family or friends or from the people around you. Or it's just because you don't really know who God really is. Because we are not perfect beings and we don't know the truth. But you need to know that God does love you for who you are. He is love and love comes from Him. But let me tell you how God feels about you in His own words. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I created you in my image. I know everything about you. I know when you sit down and when you rise up. I know all your ways. In me you live and move and have your being. For you are my offspring. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Even the hairs on your head are numbered. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. I determined the exact time of your birth and where you would live. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And nothing will ever separate my love for you. I am love and whoever lives in love lives in me. Every good gift that you receive comes from me. You are my treasured possession. If you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. I am able to accomplish infinitely more than you might think or ask. through my mighty power that is at work within you. When you feel crushed and brokenhearted, I am close to you. And I want you to come to me when you are tired and carry heavy burdens, because I will give you rest. But because of your sin, you have made a separation between us. You chose to go your own way. But I demonstrated my love for you in this, that while you were still a sinner, Jesus died for you. I love you so much that I gave you my only Son, so that if you believe in Him, you will not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus died so that you and I could be reconciled. Jesus took your sins upon Himself on the cross so that you might die to your sins and live for righteousness. If you receive the gift of my Son Jesus, you receive me. 
If you do, you will become my child. And it is my desire to lavish my love on you as your father. I offer you more than your earthly father ever could because I am a perfect father. So here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height or depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate you from my love. So trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. But in all your ways submit to me and I will make your paths straight. Well, I don't need to say anything, do I? God loves you more than you would ever realize. And He's been there all along. You might feel alone, but He's always been there knocking the door and waiting for you to open the door of your heart. So the real question is not, does God love me? The question is, do you love God? If you do, then give Him your heart and start a real relationship with Him. There's two things you got to do. First, you got to repent of all your sins. Say, I'm sorry God for all the bad stuff that I have done. Number two, you have to trust and believe that Jesus died for you. He died for your sins so that you could have eternal life, so that you can be saved. So trust Him as your Savior and not yourself. If you want to do that, then do it with me right now. Because time goes so fast. Every second that goes on that clock is a second closer to your death and mine. We're not going to live forever. So this is probably the most important decision that you can make in your life. So pray with me if you want to do it. God, forgive me for all my sins that I have done in my life. And thank you, Jesus, for taking my punishment for my sins on the cross and dying for me. I believe that you love me and I love you too. So I'm opening the door of my heart. Come in, make me a new person and start a real relationship with me. God, I believe in you and I trust you as my Savior. I don't trust in myself because I'm not good enough, but you are. And that's why you died for me on the cross. So thank you. And help me now to move on with my life and to grow spiritually and to get to know you deeper. Please reveal yourself to me more and more. Amen. If you just prayed with me, then congratulations. You're now a child of God. Welcome to the family. Now your real life actually started and you need to grow more spiritually to become stronger and to become who God made you to be. So start reading your Bible and you can also watch some of my other videos that will guide you on your new life in Christ. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.